Yo, what it is, guys? What's up, man? I'm upset. I'm upset because I tried to take a Civic to get an alignment, right? I took it to a shop and left it over there overnight because they were so booked and blah, blah, blah. Well, it turns out the shop couldn't do it because apparently the lower control arm on the driver's side is no bueno. Apparently, like the bushing is uh, bad or something. They said when they were trying to make adjustments, it would just pull everything. And so they recommend that I change the lower control arm and blah, blah, blah. So one, I'm upset because they couldn't get the alignment done on the Civic. And number two, I have to install a part that I've been procrastinating on installing. <laughs> but it's all good. You know, I'm YouTube certified. I've watched about one video on how to do this. I pulled out the Civic manual to guide me in its guidance and to share with me its wisdom. <laughs> Something that's really interesting about installing this is that you don't want to just install it. You want to like hand tighten everything and then lower the car so the weight will be on the suspension and that's when you'll tighten everything to uh, specification. Because if you were to torque everything down while the car was up in the air, once you lower it, you'll put a lot of strain on the bushings and that's what's going to cause it to rip again. So if you're changing lower control arms yourself, be sure to keep that in mind. Yeah! All right, let's go and get these wheels off. Got my handy impact. All right, so this install should be pretty straightforward. We'll go over here. This is the first thing you'll need to loosen. You'll loosen the ball joints right here. And then you just got these two bolts holding the lower control arm. Yeah, let's knock this out. All right, you'll need a size five Allen key and a 14 millimeter box in wrench. Good, there we go. All right. Yeah. Oh. All right, these are 17s and that one. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and use the impact on this one. That impact gun makes life a lot easier. Oh, All right, so before taking these two out, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the ball joint from the steering knuckle. And this car pin looks pretty weird. I, I think this is how you do it. Got this. Oh, wow, that was easy. What? Oh, okay. Noise. <laughs> Man, these weren't even all that tight. Maybe I'm just used to um, over tightening things. And that's how we strip bolts. All right, so you can't take out the castle nut right now. You gotta separate the ball joint from the knuckle and then you'll have enough room to remove this thing. Yeah. Get yourself one of these tools. It's a ball joint separator. You definitely need this if you're gonna reuse the same ball joint because there's other tools that'll rip this apart and you won't be able to reuse this ball joint. This in here. I usually hate tightening this because of the loud pop, but we got an impact. It'll make it really easy. Pop. Oh, there we go. So it's loose. Just loose on the castle nut, pull it down. There you go, cast nuts out. I can pull out the ball joint. Yeah. Go get these out. And two. Yo, I definitely need to get some new ball joints. All right, ball joints out. Next, we got this one, which is a 17. Right chill. And then this is a 14 over there. 17. 1738. And I can't get the impact in here, so we're gonna do this the hard way. Old school way. Ah, right, this is a really awkward position, so um, I got me a couple of swivel extensions and uh, let's hope this works. <laughs> I really don't know how I'm gonna fit a torque wrench in here, but uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. Super handy.
can I do this one-handed? Oh, actually, yeah, I can. Just gotta work around this thingy right here. And just like that, she's finally out. Yeah. Yo, check it out. This is the OEM one, and here's the K-tuned one. Look at the damage on this. Woo! That thing looks nasty. <laughs> the K-tuned arm already comes with everything installed. As far as uh, having to press these in, saves you a lot of time. It's got the little logo right here, and it looks super clean. I'm surprised. I thought this was just gonna be, uh, I don't know, plain and not cool looking. <laughs> Good job, K-Tuned. But, I mean, ew, look at this thing. Ooh. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to reuse this thing. I guess until K-Tuned decides to uh, sponsor me and provide me with some K-Tuned ball joints. Yeah? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and install this first before installing the new low control arm. Yo, check this out. I wanted to show you this real quick. This shouldn't be coming out like that. <laughs> I thought this was like the design, like there was probably some slits right here, but nah, this bushing is just ripped completely because this is the passenger side and you can see it's all intact. And here's the brand new one from K-Tune. Yeah. So if you want to prevent this, make sure that you have the body weight of the car down before you torque everything. All right, so I got a couple tips for you guys to use when reinstalling the low control arms. All right, so this sway bar link is gonna be in the way. So it's easier if you just go ahead and loosen it. It's just gonna be these two bolts holding it up. They're 14 millimeters. Just go take this bracket off too, and it'll give you a lot of room to get the lower control arm in. So with this loose, you're gonna wanna clean up these areas where the lower control arm is gonna slide into. It's gonna be really tight, especially with aftermarket parts. And to help slide these in easier, we're gonna apply some grease onto the bushings right here. Just get yourself some all-purpose grease. Put it right there and right here, both sides. Bam, nice and lube. Okay. With this loose, it's gonna be really easy to get this in here. Just slide it in. Well, this one slid in a lot easier. You'll wanna use a rubber mallet and a screwdriver to help get everything aligned correctly. here oh that goes in easily all right we got these two in it took some work but you can see i didn't really screw it in all the way but it's enough to be threaded yeah we'll just get the ball joint installed right here there we go two bolts or nuts whatever i think these are bolts yeah whatever this dude don't forget about the sway bar right here. One, two. Yeah. All right, so I got the Civic lowered on a few pieces of wood and the ramps. This way, all the weight of the car is on the suspension, and I can get under it to tighten up the uh, suspension pieces. And according to Honda, that big bolt is 61 foot pounds, and the one that's kind of hard to reach is 47 foot pounds. All right, 61 foot pounds. Feel the click come in. Nope. There we go. There we are. Yay. The stabilizer bar doesn't have any torque specs, so I guess we'll just make it nice and snug. melted on there. <laughs> Ooh, and so there's a way to torque this down. If you have a crow's foot, this is a 14 millimeter. Fits right on there, just like this. And you just wanna torque it to 25 foot pounds. These are a little tricky. You wanna keep this straight and not let it turn. There we go. Eee, nice. And that's all there is to it. Just those two main bolts, this stabilizer link right here, and the uh, ball joints. 
Once all is said and done, you got yourself a nice, clean K-Tune lower control arm with the uh, brand new bushings. Woo! And now we're ready for an alignment. Yeah! We definitely gotta upgrade those suspension pieces. I mean, look at this. This thing's falling apart. Oh, yeah. The ball joint's no good. Probably gotta change the tie rod as well. But shoot, we'll see. Hopefully someday K-Tune will sponsor me and send me the parts I need. Yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful. If you learned something today, let me know down in the comments below. Yeah. All right. See you on the next one.